this is just a video on general audition tips things I feel like I may not have had the chance to mention in any of my other videos or I've missed it out or a general list of one-liners of things to remember and things to think about when you are doing your auditions. Okay, firstly, if you know someone at a school or you know someone who's been to a certain school or you're friends of a friend who knows someone else, find time to message them, find time to find them on Facebook and ask them the questions that you wanna ask I did it with everyone I knew who'd been anywhere because people are always willing to help. Like, why would they not want to help you? Why would they not want to answer your questions? And it's not going to take a lot of time out of their day. You know, you might have a really specific question about a specific place and you know that this person will be able to answer it for you. So don't be afraid to contact all the people that you might know from different schools who might be able to help you out. Trust in your preparation. I've said this in my um, other videos, I think, on monologues and songs. You have to trust in your preparation. If you've done your preparation well and you've spent the time, not a lot more you can do. Chill and trust that you've done everything that you can to prepare for the day. You need to plan where you're going, ideally the night before, know exactly where you're going, what tube route you're taking, what bus you're taking. Obviously, like, if you're driving there, that's fine, but make sure that you've, you know, got it on your map and you've got it sorted, you know exactly where you're going. Because, obviously, a lot of them start really early as well, so you're travelling in rush hour, so you need to account for that, make sure that, you know, you've got enough time. Make sure that you check the tube before you leave to check there's no, like, network errors and... Um, it's going to take you longer, you may need to take a different route than you thought you did but just make sure that you've planned out exactly where you're going and you know exactly where you're going so that doesn't stress you out on the day. So when you come out of the station, like the tube station or whatever, I always had it on my maps like where I was going, make sure that you press walk and not car <laughs> because it was for my Erdag audition, I came out of the tube station and said 15 minutes, that's what I accounted for, it was 8 o'clock, we were due to be there at half 8, it was going to take 15 minutes, get there 15 minutes early, fab, and it was literally a straight road, so I was like, okay, like I just keep walking straight, kept going, kept going, kept going, and then I was like, hmm, I've been walking for around 10, 12 minutes, not there yet, got my maps back up, turns out I'd been going in the complete opposite direction or it had told me the quickest way for the car and not the quickest way for me to walk because I hadn't pressed the little the little man. Like that is a stupid mistake to make, but you know, it's easily done. When you're going, when you're walking there, don't walk too fast. Like, <laughs> this sounds stupid, but don't walk too fast, especially like when you're going into the building. Don't be like in a hurry to go. Just kind of chill and like take your time. And then hopefully like you'll see someone on the way and you can catch their eye and like start a conversation with them, start talking to them. Because you don't want to like have to go in and just sit down on, on your own really. Everyone's nervous anyway and you just want to be able to chill a bit, just relax a bit and talk to other people. Yes, that's another thing. Don't be one of those people who sits on their own like in the corner. They have constantly got people watching you 24 seven. It's not just an audition when you're in the room. It's an audition the whole day. They'll have student helpers around the building or even like people on reception will be like eyes and ears. Like they are looking for a company of people at the end of the day. They're not just looking at how talented you are. They're looking at if you're a nice person and if you're gonna get on with everyone else in the group. And that's like a massive thing. And they are constantly watching you. So I would suggest, yeah, don't be one of those people who just sits on their own in the corner. Try and make conversation and be friendly. You are there to work, so be proud of what you are doing. Own your floor space, you've paid to be there. Just have confidence in that what you're doing is going to showcase all of your skills. If you are really ill, you can reschedule. Don't be put off by them writing things down. Can, can easily be like, oh, what are they doing? But no, just chill. They do that. Don't apologize for yourself. If you do something wrong, sound in the wrong place, don't be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just, no, just be like, oh, okay, cool. And change what have you done. Don't say sorry for yourself. Don't bring things into the room with you. Like if you've got loads of bags, it looks better if you can leave it somewhere. Most of them will give you instructions and where to put your stuff and that. But I'd say if you can, like don't bring your bottle of water in, anything like that. Just leave it all outside and go in with your sheet music so that you're ready to work. When you get to the door, turn 
back and say thank you, goodbye, and leave again. That's just a little one, but I always did that. Introduce all of your pieces clearly so they know exactly what you've just said, what you're gonna sing, what monologue you're gonna do, because a lot of them write it down as well and you don't wanna have to be repeating yourself. The pianist is your best friend. I've said this before, you have to learn to love your pianist. Trust in them and that they're gonna help you do a really good audition, be lovely to them. Don't be put off if someone sings the same song as you, it doesn't matter, just step up your game. <laughs> be aware of show-offs, they're everywhere, it happens. You just have to, you know, be confident in yourself. Let it, let it go. At Trinity, they make you sit on the floor and watch everyone else. Don't sit cross-legged, because you will get pins and needles. Remember to keep moving. Don't let a bad ending spoil the whole rest of your performance. Don't concentrate on the bad things. Try and concentrate on all the things that went really well. After your song or after your monologue, stand firm and hold your ground. Leave it a couple of beats before you come out of performance and you say thank you and then you go and confidently sit down. Don't like do performance and then like skull half like you want to be confident, you want to show them, yes, I've just performed, remember me. <laughs> in the dance round, don't forget to smile, everyone's like this. It's really stressful and everyone's like concentrating so hard, like trying to get all the steps right. Do not forget to smile because then they'll notice you like, oh look, she looks like she's having a good time. That's all they really want. They don't want you to be really nervous and stressed. They just want you to be having a good time. Relax, they want you to succeed. The panel are not against you. They're on your side, they want you to do the best you can, so just chill. If a school has given you some instructions on anything, on monologue, on how to dress, on what songs you need to sing, on what you need to bring with you, follow their instructions. Do not do your own thing, it will only go against you. When you meet people at your auditions, follow them on social media, because if you get in there and you need to look for somewhere to live, it might be handy to want to live with someone who you've already met instead of randomers. <laughs> Read over your journal notes if you've watched my audition journal video. If not, please watch it. Read over your audition journal notes before you go into any audition because it will make you stronger. Do not ever hold back. This is your one chance to show them everything you have. You've paid to be there. You know, you've been waiting for this. If you've been training, I don't know how long you've been training. You might have been training for years. You know, you might have been in dance school since you were two. This is what you are waiting for. Do not ever hold back. Do not ever come out of the audition wishing you'd given more. These are my tips for recalls. Maybe write down what you've worn for the, the audition in your audition journal, because if you get a recall, you need to wear the exact same thing because it will help them remember you. For every single dance that you learn at every single audition take a video of it when you get home even if it's not full out even if it's just like a mark through take a video of it because some of them will ask you to do that dance again in the recall and if you can't remember it you're a bit screwed for recalls just try and calm your nerves down you know that they're interested in you so just try and be like okay now i can really relax and just show them again why they wanted to see me again, why they want me for a recall, why they might want me at their school. Don't be afraid if they go a bit more serious at the recall. Some of them like the total opposite, like Art said was so serious in the first section and then the recall they were so chilled, like they, not that they weren't nice before but like you were just very like strict. Whereas Erzang I felt they were quite nice in the first round and then you got to the recall and then they were a lot more strict. It's just different ways, different schools work. Just saying, no, you're here now, you're ready, you're, um, you're good enough to be here, this is how we work. So don't be put off by that, I'd say. Finally, there is a guy called Michael Moore on Twitter who is the ex-head of musical theatre at GSA. And on his Twitter he does a thing called hashtag drama school audition tips. And he does on there all the things that he would recommend that you do. And obviously he's been in the industry. I definitely say follow that, that helped me a lot. Even just type into Twitter, hashtag drama school audition tip and get all of his advice. That's a good one. And also subscribe to my vlog <laughs> because hopefully the things I am saying, hopefully they're helping you guys. Please let me know if they are. I love to hear um, if it's been helpful, please give it a thumbs up. 
um, subscribe, pass it on to anyone you know who may find it helpful. Yeah, I just hope all this information is not too much information and um, it's helping you guys on your journey to drama school auditions. Fab. Bye. <sighs> Hashtag drama school audition tip.